Hello, my name is Richard Weitz. I'm a Washington, D.C.-based national security analyst. My interests include the relationship between China, the United States, and Russia, that is great power relations, regional conflicts such as those in Korea, and conflicts in novel domains and novel technologies, including hypersonic weapons, cyber weapons, and in the case of my most recent article, space weapons. China, the United States, and other countries have been launching an increasing number of satellites in recent years. These satellites serve national security purposes, but they also serve commercial and other civilian purposes. At the high speeds with which objects in space move, the challenge is that even a very small piece of debris, perhaps 10 centimeters and in, in across, can inflict enormous damage on another object that it hits. There are tens of thousands of pieces of debris in outer space of large enough size to cause significant damage. Most of this, as I said, is accrued through human uh, inadvertent actions of human activity in space. But we have on several occasions seen countries deliberately create the debris through anti-satellite tests. The Soviet Union and the United States tested anti-satellite weapons during the Cold War, but then it had a moratorium on these tests. Um, this moratorium was broken by China in 2007 when it destroyed one of its own satellites. The United States the following year shot down a satellite which was falling out of Earth orbit. Um, and India tested a satellite last year. Now we have Russia complete the cycle in the, in the sense of it's now having destroyed uh, one of its own satellites. So all these powers have shown they can shoot down satellites, but in the process, they've created much more additional debris. In my view, now's a good time to stop such tests. Uh, since these countries have shown they can destroy satellites, they don't need to conduct further tests. There's no need for other countries uh, to, to engage in these tests. Um, and so I think that we should use uh, international negotiations to reach some kind of agreement that countries will no longer deliberately create debris through anti-satellite tests. This would still permit what we saw previously by Russia and other countries, which was testing weapons against uh, simulated objects in space. Uh, it could allow countries to test how to defend their satellites through maneuvering hardening and other measures, but it would not all create the kind of additional debris, which is a threat to all countries' space programs.